What's up you guys? It's your boy Malcolm Charles and I wish today was gonna be a different day than normal, but we are working and it's Sunday. Oh my god. This is really scary. morning it's a sunday on the upper east side and i wish i could say we had an off day today just relax but it's your boy malcolm charles and we are working but we're gonna do our morning routine like always head to central park grab some starbucks and let's play it from there We just got to our reading spot for the day. We're gonna be reading for 45 minutes today, and I just realized how absolutely lame I sound, but I'm gonna read. It's what I like to do every morning, and it helps me get my mind right. Okay, not gonna lie, every day I read this book, it always solves the problems that are in my head, so I have some emphatic realizations I'm gonna talk to you guys about, but it is 10 a.m., so we gotta head home and start getting ready for work. If you're familiar with the vlogs, then you know that I got this huge job opportunity that I'm really torn between because I'm sacrificing my entrepreneurial lifestyle for a higher salary, but more work and just a lot of, and just a huge change in what I'd be doing in my career path. And I was really torn because all of my friends thought I was crazy for wanting to maybe turn this job down and focus on myself and just try to bet on myself because of how much money I was being offered. But now when I just read it, it really explained what I'm talking about and I'll explain it to you when we get back to the office. I'm just making it home. I just hop out of the shower and I'm dressed for work. I'm shooting about two hours, but I have to talk to you guys about what I just read because I swear the universe is working in mysterious ways. So after I finish my reading for the day, the book I'm currently reading, The Subtitle, I'm not giving a fuck, we already know this. The chapter is basically talking about this rule called Manson's Law. Manson's Law basically states the more something threatens your identity, the more likely you are to avoid doing it. So having the opportunity to have everything I ever wanted at the snap of my fingers after three months of my brand new company, it threatened my identity to who I was, and that's probably the main reason why this decision was such a tough one for me to make. But because it changed my whole identity, my whole goal in life to be this entrepreneur, what I'd grown up learning to do, I didn't want it to happen, and I ran away from it. If you've known me for a while, you know the grind to get where I am today has not been the easiest, most linear path, but I've gotten here because I've persevered and I've grinded to get to where I am. At that, there's been a lot of failures along the way, especially some even in the recent future that I just haven't talked about. Life's really come full circle because last semester in October and November, I was applying for a bunch of jobs via Indeed and literally handing out, going to places and handing in my resume, working at places, doing their digital marketing, photography, videography, handling ads, and all this stuff. And I applied to 35 places and literally every single place turned me down. And had they not, I would never be where I am right now. I have my own media agency and we currently manage over eight different companies. And with this new job offer, I'm getting paid nearly six figures to try and work with them. And I would have never had this opportunity had all these places not turned me down before. So you never know what a negative experience actually is except for how you feel in the moment. Because sometimes the most negative of experiences turn out to be the most positive ones down the line. So one piece of advice for anyone that feels like their ambition isn't being taken seriously enough and their goals just aren't attainable. Just keep going, keep grinding, take every hardship as a positive experience and a learning experience and keep going. Because if you work hard enough, it will pay off. Just keep going. Alright, so it's been a couple hours, but that shoot that I was supposed to go to from my clients today ended up rescheduling because she's too busy. Which means I ended up having the day free, so I just got some paperwork done and honestly just chilled out. I'm heading downtown right now to blink up with a friend. And we're gonna hang out, so let's go say hi. Oh, fuck. This is really scary. Shit has gotten critical tonight, ladies and gentlemen. What? Fuck. It's gonna be okay.